Hi there, students. To abash, abash a verb. You can have an adjective, abashed, and even abashedly, or maybe abashedly as well. Um, also, actually, there's another adjective, bashful, but that's slightly different, but it's based on the same thing. OK, to abash somebody, to make them feel ashamed, to embarrass them. Very, very often in the passive, I was very abashed by the spelling mistake I made in the poll the other day. Okay, yeah, I was ashamed of it, yeah. Um, I uh, abashedly apologise for making that mistake, okay. So, to abash, to embarrass someone, to make them feel uncomfortable. Yeah, so, I don't know, um, he, uh, her, her sisters were always making fun of her uh, and uh, abashing her by uh, talking about how shyful she was. Um, OK, don't feel abashed about making a mistake. It's a learning opportunity. Yeah. Um, the he was uh, so happy with the present that I gave him that it abashed me. It was felt a bit embarrassing. Yeah, um, I was not abashed by the thought that uh, I just wanted these people to leave. I really didn't like them. OK, so to abash, to make somebody feel embarrassed, to make them feel ashamed. Yeah, um, he's completely unabashed at what he's done. Yeah, yeah, he should f he should feel shame about it. He should be shame faced. He should be abashed and remorseful or mortified by it. But uh, he's just totally unabashed. Okay, so yeah, if you if somebody's abashed, you destroy their self confidence. Their poise they make they make them ashamed yeah so um i was very abashed by the uh, way the uh, um crowd um jeered at me okay to jeer Ooh. okay so to abash yeah to make somebody ashamed and make them feel uneasy yeah to maybe put them off as well to embarrass or mortify um notice this verb is a formal verb i think i think to abash abashed i think i would give this a 7.5 in formality um yeah i think 7.5 it sounds very literary as well i wouldn't use it in an informal conversation of course unless you were trying to be terribly posh i was so abashed by uh what i did last night yeah it would work in a really posh context but apart from that um use it for an essay uh, or something like that. The government should be abashed at the uh, lack of action over climate change. That's a really nice sentence um, to include in an essay. Um, OK, so to abash. As to origin, it comes from French, yeah? It comes from the word baisser, to lower, yeah? To make something lower, yeah? Um, which itself in French comes from S, well, the verb ébahir, um, which S utterly, completely, and bahir to astonish, to astonish, um, which comes itself from medieval Latin ex bado, ex out of, and bad bado to gape, oh, or to yawn. OK, so if somebody's abashed, they're very, very ashamed. Notice I mentioned bashful at the beginning. I've got a video on that and it'll appear in the end screens. Um, if somebody's bashful, they're shy. They're abashed about everything. They're very timid. Yeah, um, he bashfully looked at the girl. Yeah. OK, but abashed means to feel embarrassed. So um, you may feel abashed even though you're not a bashful person. Yeah, it's where you feel uh, embarrassed or ashamed. Yeah, um, I was so abashed by what I did that uh, I'm never going to do that again.
Don't be abashed. Every mistake is a learning opportunity. Enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. To abash. Abashed as an adjective. Abashedly.